Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are taking a look at Peppy Penguin, which is a paper piecing style die, and the new Giant Feliz Navidad, which is a great giant sentiment for the holidays. So here is a look at the Feliz Navidad cut from some craft card stock, and as you can see, all of the pieces of the letters stay connected, so we're not going to lose any of those little dots for our eyes. And we're also going to build Peppy Penguin. So there are two solid dies in this set and two dies that cut out outlines. I will be cutting these solid pieces from white cardstock with some double-sided adhesive added to it so that I can easily stick all of the paper piecing pieces on top. So I'm just using half of an A2 size sheet here. That's really all I need for those backer pieces. And then I can use the top half to just cut some white cardstock for my penguin. So once I have that double sided adhesive on there, I will take the two solid dies in the Peppy Penguin set and cut those out. I've used the outline die to cut out three little penguins here from narwhal cardstock, black licorice cardstock, and white cardstock. And I'm using my grip mat from my stamp wheel to hold them in place. And I'm using the white one to add some color to the beak and the feet rather than cutting them out of orange cardstock, but you could do either way. I've also cut the outline of the lights from white. It happens to be on my cutting plate right now, and I'm just gonna leave it there. It's going to make it a little easier to color when I color in those little lights. But first, let's assemble Peppy Penguin. So I've peeled off the liner paper from my solid piece of white cardstock, and I'm going to use my tweezers to pull apart these die cut penguins. So first I want to start with the outline of the entire penguin on the outside, and I'll just line that up with my large piece and stick it in place. Next, I can move on to the body of the penguin, which I'll use this narwhal cardstock for that. I think it would be fun to cut this out of all kinds of different colors. A blue or a purple penguin would be super cute. Next, there's the outline that goes around the white part, the belly and where the eyes and the beak are. And I did lose my little beak here. It stuck there, so I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And I'm going to line up that outline and pop it right into place. Next, I can move on to that big white piece, which is the belly and the main body of my penguin and that will just drop right into that opening. Then I can go back to my little beak. There are two pieces to this beak, so there is the little outline. I'll use the black for that. And then the little piece that I colored orange earlier, I'm going to pop that right into the little opening where his beak is. And then I'm also going to do the same for those little feet that I colored as well. As I said, you could cut these out of orange cardstock if you wanted. I just felt like this was a little faster and you can pick exactly which orange you want. And then finally, I have his little eyes and they're kind of stuck in this piece. And when it's stuck in there like that, what I like to do is line it up and just kind of push them out into their space below. So I'm just pushing the little eyes so they're popping right into those places in the white. And here we have our cute little penguin. Isn't he just so adorable? Next up, let's work on the light. So here is that solid piece that I have that double-sided adhesive on. I cut the outline from white, which I'll use for the lights. And then I also cut it from some black sparkle cardstock, which is what you see there. And I'm actually gonna use my grip mat to hold my lights in place. They were sticking to my fingers there. And since this is kind of a delicate little piece, that works perfectly to hold it in place. So my outline is black sparkle cardstock. I just thought this was a nice contrast to my little penguin with that little bit of extra sparkle. And once I have that lined up, I am going to grab my cutting mat over here where my white piece is. And while it is still attached to my cutting plate, I am going to use that kind of as a grip mat to hold it in place as I add a little bit of Copic color to each one of these cute little Christmas light bulbs. And I picked seven different colors so I could have a full rainbow of Christmas bulbs for my little penguin to hold. You could also cut these all out of one single color of cardstock if you wanted, or glitter cardstock would be really cute. Lots of different options. 
So I had a couple bulbs stay in there when I pulled it off. Actually, I guess just one. And then I am going to carefully pick up all these other little bulbs and drop them right into place. So it worked out well that these stayed on my cutting mat because I could keep them organized and not have them all over my desk. But look how cute these little lights turned out. So I'm just adding a little bit of liquid glue to each end of this string of lights, that little curled end, and I'm just gluing this into his hands. And look how adorable he turned out. So let's work on the rest of the card for this cute little peppy penguin. So what I wanted to do was create a little window for our Peppy Penguin to be in. I pulled out some papers from the Candy Cane Lane collection and I'm also using some Pixie Dust Sparkle cardstock. And I'm using the Winter Wonderland window. So the first thing I want to do is take this red striped piece of paper which is cut to four and a quarter by five and a half and line up the outside window die of the Winter Wonderland window. This is going to give me that arched window opening. Next I'm taking a piece of Pixie Dust Sparkle cardstock and cutting it to four inches by five and a quarter. So that's one quarter inch less than my card panel. This way I know that no matter where I line this up on the back of my panel, I won't have any of the Sparkle cardstock peeking out on the sides. So I'm centering it behind my striped panel and then I can line up my snowflake frame inside of it. I'll just hold that in place with a little bit of tape and run this through my die cut machine. And now I have this beautiful sparkle snowflake frame that will fit inside the other frame and I'm just poking out all those little pieces so we can see those beautiful snowflakes. Now because I am gluing glitter to the back of this cardstock, I am using some liquid glue because I want it to hold really well on that rough surface of the glitter. So I've just added the glue to the back of the panel. That way I know that it's all in the right place and I'm not going to get any out past the edge of this opening. And then I could just line this up right in the center of that striped panel. I'll actually just lay an acrylic block on it for a minute while it dries and make sure it's nice and dried. Now I also have this piece of this snowflake paper and I was using a scrap so it is smaller than my card base but it works perfectly because those edges are going to get covered up by that striped frame. I added foam tape all over the back of my snowflake frame and when I layer this onto my card it will be popped up and have some really fun dimension and create some fun shadows on that background. Now for my sentiment I'm using the new Scripty Mary outline die. This die coordinates with the Scripty Mary so I've cut my Scripty Mary from some Peacock cardstock and I'm going to cut that outline from this beautiful pink pearlescent vellum and that will be a really fun layer to outline my Scripty Mary. So I'll just add some liquid glue to the back of that Scripty Mary. And as you can see on that vellum sitting there, the new outline die makes an etching so you can line up the Scripty Mary right in there and have the perfect outline sentiment. Again, I'll just lay a block on that while it dries since we're gluing to that vellum. And once that's ready to go, I'm just going to add this right along the bottom of my Winter Wonderland window. Now I did want my sentiments to say Merry Christmas, so I pulled out the Cheery and Bright stamp set. You could find the word Christmas in lots of different sets, but I liked the font of this one and the size. And I'm just stamping this in some black licorice ink on that white cardstock where I cut out my little penguin. And I'll just use my paper trimmer to make a little banner out of this word. So I've just trimmed it into a strip and then I'm going to cut off the edges and now I have that little banner that says Christmas that I can add right under my Scripty Mary. I really like mixing and matching some fonts and sentiments this way. I think it's really fun to add these to those die cut sentiments.
And then of course my penguin, I want to pop him up as well so I have some foam adhesive on the back of Peppy Penguin and I'll just pop him right into the center of this frame. Now I wanted to add some embellishments and I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do and I pulled out my twine. So I have some red twine and some white twine and I'm going to wrap this around the top of my card twice and tie a little bow at the top. And I really like that this twine kind of mimics and matches the peppermint stripe of the paper. So I'll just tie that in a bow. I really love the look of a double bow, especially when we're mixing two colors of twine. And then I can just trim off those extra tails and kind of arrange those pieces of twine across the top. I also wanted to pull in the gold that is in the small foil stripe in that red stripe paper. So I'm using some gold sparkle cardstock and the sequin mix dye to create my own custom star sequins that I will just sprinkle around. So once I have the arrangement of these three different sizes of stars, I'll just pick them up and add them with a little bit of liquid glue. And then here is my finished Peppy Penguin card. I love all that glitter cardstock and that Mary with the pearlescent, and I just think he turned out so cute. So let's move on and make a card with the Giant Felice Navidad. I'll be using Cheesy Christmas as my images, and it may sound funny, but I'm going to cut Felice Navidad out of some yellow cardstock because I'm going to make it look like cheese. <laughs> I pulled out two papers from Candy Cane Lane. We have that peppermint stripe again. I just love this paper. And then I also have that darker green that has little Christmas trees and I'm going to layer these together. So I cut the stripe paper to four and a quarter by five and a half and then I'm using the largest of the outside in stitch rectangles to cut my green paper. And when I layer these two together, I'm going to get that nice little stripe border around my green panel. So I'm cutting the Giant Felice Navidad from some sticky note cardstock, so it's kind of a lighter yellow. And then I'm going to do some inking. So I've got scattered straw distress ink and a little blending brush. And I'm going to pull this ink up from the bottom of the word Navidad and from the top of the word Felice. So we're going to have dark at the top and the bottom and it'll kind of go ombre towards the lighter color in the center. And I'm just being very gentle with my blending brush because this is kind of a delicate die cut and I don't want to bend my letters. They are all connected to each other, but they aren't connected in such a way that you can be very aggressive with your blending. A grip mat would also help if you're going to blend like this. And then I have a Copic marker and I am adding some dots. So I'm adding some Swiss cheese holes to my cheesy sentiment right? And I think that this is really fun. As this ink from the marker kind of absorbs, it will lighten up a little bit. And we're just going to have this subtle look of some cheese. And I think it goes perfectly with the mice and the cheese theme of this card. So to give this sentiment just a little more structure and make it look nice and thick like a big chipboard sentiment, I am layering two white pieces that are cut and then I will layer that yellow one right on top. So we're going to have a nice thick sentiment for our card. Now that all my pieces are ready, I can start to assemble my card and I will start with that red striped paper, layering that on to my card base. The next I'll take that die cut green paper with that stitching detail and I will layer that right on top so we get this nice little stripey frame around our green piece of paper. Now I'm putting my sentiment there just kind of as a placeholder and I'm going to arrange my images. I'll start by adding this little gift bag to the hand of this little mouse and he's gonna go up here on top. Then I have these other little guys. They're gonna be at the bottom having a dance party. So we have these two mice that are dancing. We've got their little radio that's gonna play some music. We have the mouse with the big hunk of cheese, which pulls in that yellow of the sentiment. And then we have a couple more other little presents to kind of balance everything out. So once I know my placement of everything, I'm going to start to glue everything down, starting with my sentiment. And I've added some foam strips to the back so that it's popped up off that background and has some nice dimension. And we get a nice little shadow behind our sentiment. Then I can take all my other little pieces and start to add them. 
for the little presents here, I am going to add those with some thin foam squares. So I'm going to use a mixture of thin foam squares and regular thickness foam squares just to give myself some different heights on my card. So these are a little bit closer to the background. They're gonna look really cute tucked behind that sentiment. For this mouse on top, I'm doing the same thing so that I can kind of tuck the feet sort of behind the sentiment there like they're standing on top. Now for these mice on the bottom, the one holding the cheese, I decided to use the regular thickness foam squares. I will do the same for the one in the sweater. So they're kind of in the foreground. The one that's just dancing with the little Santa hat, I'm using those thin foam squares so he's sort of set back a little bit and sort of tucked into the background a little. And then of course the radio's in the foreground so I will use that regular thickness foam square and because this is going to kind of layer over him. Now, of course, we need some music notes because they are having a dance party. So I'm pulling out all the little music note stamps in Cheesy Christmas and the Cheesy Christmas add-on and stamping those in some black ink directly onto my pattern paper. I did use the little note from the add-on set as well so that I had more music notes to choose from. And of course we need some glitter because this is a Christmas card. So every image is going to get a little dash of glitter on the present bows and the Santa hats and the little snowflake. Everybody gets a little bit of glitter. So here is my finished card with those cheesy mice singing along with Feliz Navidad and I think it's really fun that the sentiment looks like cheese and goes perfectly with the characters. So let's take a look at some more examples from the design team. Yainea combined Feliz Navidad with Peppy Penguin for this super cute Christmas card. I love how Mindy combined Feliz Navidad with some fun images to create a really festive and colorful card. This card by Elena is super sweet. I love how she added the candy canes and she added some different accessories to the penguins, which is so adorable. And then this card by Leticia is so pretty. This is one of my favorite stencils and I think it goes perfectly with that giant sentiment. This card by Maureen is so much fun. I love that she put the penguin in the snow globe and used that scripty Mary. It just looks so cute. This card by Melissa is really fun. I love her oval window in the center and that Felice Navidad cut out of glitter cardstock is just so pretty. This card by Mindy is really cute. I love that she used the stitched pond in the background to create a frozen pond with her peppy penguin. And then this card by Grace is so much fun. I love her different take on a festive card using the build of succulents with the string of lights backdrop and that big sentiment. Here's another example of Peppy Penguin with a snowflake frame, which is super fun, and I just love that sentiment with the colored letters. And then here is the giant Feliz Navidad with the cheesy Christmas mice again, and I really love that striped background. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.